All right, hey everyone. So I figured this would be an interesting test here. Uh, we're gonna do some tire dressing tests. I have uh, all these here. I have three graphene ones and I have some ceramic ones. And I think this would be, like I said, a good test for um, various products to see how they compare against each other. So I divided the tire as best as I could. Uh, so on this on this side, I'm actually gonna be doing get the applicator for this one. I'm gonna be doing all these just one layer. Most of the time I just put one layer. The tire's been clean with Carpro Retire. This time I tried it without the foaming nozzle. It works with the foaming nozzle. Um, I know some people were kind of, especially in the Facebook groups, the Carpro Facebook, Facebook groups, people took uh, offense to, it's like, oh, you use too much product, blah, 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 that you're only supposed to use, um, spray a quarter of the tire and then that's enough to do the half the tire, maybe, possibly. Uh, once people get their hands on it, they'll know that that's probably um, not going to work on tires that are severely dirty. Uh, but for light, dirty tires, possibly, that's the way to go. So the product we're going to be putting on first is the McKees 37. So I'm actually going to take a picture of the tire and then label it as to what, what it is. And I can always refer back to this video to see where things are at. So the first one is going to be the McKees 37 Graphene Tire Shine. It says high gloss formula will not sling. So this is a graphene oxide infused. This is right here. Ultra refined graphene oxide ceramic resins designed to protect and beautify your vehicle's tires. It says the high bonding formula will keep your tires shiny and protected for weeks at a time, even when driven through wet weather. Unlike traditional solvent based tire dressings, McKees 37 graphene tire shine will not cause your tires to turn brown and will not sling off or stain your driveway. So it actually helps prevent the tire from turning brown. And let's see what the application says on here. Okay, of course you're gonna clean your tire. Uh, you're gonna apply this onto a tire, onto an onto either the tire or a sponge. I'm gonna use a sponge because I put it on my dad's tires. Evenly spread out the tire shine using the sponge. Reapply more shine as needed. Um, it says allow 30 minutes for the tire shine to bond before driving the vehicle. Do not apply it to the tire tread of motorcycle things. So, um, pretty standard stuff. I'm just going to shake it here and kind of just mix it up. So, you don't need too much product. I'm actually just going to work this in with my, my finger here. Let me grab this napkin up here so I can wipe my finger as I go. Uh, pretty straightforward stuff. I'm actually going to move this over a little to give me somewhat of an even amount of surface area to apply this to. Straightforward to use this. I've used it. It's pretty um, liquidy here. Um, consistency. Um, but it looks nice. The um, only thing is you gotta let it sit for 30 minutes uh, prior to wiping it off. But prior to driving it, uh, you can. It depends on how what type of weather you're in. It may dry sooner. I didn't want to go too far because it's gonna start passing through the tape. Okay, so we'll let that set up so I can have 30 minutes to sit on there. So then I cut these little cubes from a repurposed um, auto fiber applicator. So we're going to put the Adams Graphene Tire Shine on the other side. Since this cube's a little smaller, it's going to be easier to prep. Okay, so I'm going to put this on this side here, and then we can compare the, um, you know, how they perform long term, or at least for a couple of weeks to see how they compare to each other and, you know, different technologies. So I know this is, this is a bit boring, but... Hopefully it's worth it to give you an idea of how these tires are going to perform. 
how these tire dressings are going to perform long term. Okay, so that should be enough for that section. So I'm actually what I'm going to do, because I want to put two layers on the other side to see if two layers does help. I gotta put these in the right order where I don't lose them. I'll just put the applicator on top of it right there. Okay, so now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do graphing VRT. I know many of you have been wanting to see this. I actually have an applicator with VRT already on it that I used. And so this is a brand new product from Adams, introduced during their Black Friday event. So if you guys are interested in in trying it out, you know, definitely pick this up. So it has the same consistency as VRT. The only difference is this one has the graphene resins versus the um, ceramic resins in, in regular VRT. And so if you like a lotion consistency, then you use this versus the, um, the graphene tire dressing that I just put on before this. So I, don't even, I don't know if that was enough product in there. Just put just a tad more. So with VRT, and even this graphing VRT, what you're going to notice is that your tires are going to look more of a matte finish, like a satin type. Yeah, you can increase the gloss though with a second layer, so just kind of keep that in mind. So, Okay, so we're going to just go ahead and just get that one out of the way. So we've got all our graphene tire dressings applied. Okay, so next to that I'm going to put VRT so you guys can actually get an idea of what this thing looks like. And I'll bring you in closer with the um, with the GoPro. Did I close this? I think I did. Oh, it's open. So this one's a white liquid. Now VRT, as I mentioned, was uh, infused with ceramic, um, I don't know how many years ago now, but this is a product staple in in the Atoms lineup, and especially the fan base. People like using it, you can use it as, um, as a trim dressing, it's not going to last very long. You know, a couple weeks, and you have to just reapply it. So I'm just working it into the rubber. I always liked VRT. Okay, so we've got VRT taken care of. I don't know if that's going to stay on there. It's not. Fair enough. Okay. So then going around, I'm going to put um, Gion Q2 tire. Again, another popular product. I've had this bottle for quite some time. And this is a, a gel. As you can see, I'm actually going to put some more on here. It almost looks like uh, Dawn dish soap. Okay, so I'm going to put this down here. Again, another popular product. Um, this one, if you wanted to, you could warm, warm up the tire and do all that stuff. I don't really just put it on and go. Get down there. Make sure this tape doesn't come up. So this one does go on like really glossy, but once you get it on there, uh, and it starts to kind of self-level, uh, it um, it'll turn more of a matte appearance on there. So got that one out of the way. Dump it on the floor, but I'm gonna have to. Okay, so then another popular product is Carpro Pearl. Carpro Pearl, again, this is diluted one to one. 
This is a, what do they call it? Silicon oxide coat. You can use it on plastic, engine, rubber, and leather. I primarily use it as a as a tire dressing. Just kind of push that into the foam so it's prime. I'm gonna put that on the right here. So again, this goes on pretty wet. Especially when it's diluted down. Let's see if I can get this thing to not uh, move around on me here. Yeah, it's hard to get tape to stick to rubber. Okay, we got a mosquito flying around here. I'm telling you, these mosquitoes are out here even during the daylight. That's uh, Carpro Pearl. And then another popular one is the Obsessed Garage Tire Dressing. Uh, this is, um, you can get this through the Obsessed Garage uh, website. Now this is not his uh, product in the sense that this is just a they're just taking it with how it comes from B and B blending, and then they just distribute it with their own label as the Obsessed Garage Tire Dressing. So this one uh, goes on really nice as well. And this is uh, silicon silicon dioxide infused to help with durability. Uh, again, most of these are gonna get you about a couple weeks of of durability before you have to reapply it again. Okay, it smells good too. I have to label the back of these so I don't screw the applicators up and mix them up for the other side. So then the final side here, I'm going to put the Glasparency S3, no, not the S3, Glasparency Tire Dressing, which again is another um, silicon dioxide based uh, tire dressing to help with durability. And it says shake well, it's water based silicon, silica infused, it can produce satin to glass depending on number of coats. It says proprietary silica technology aids in extreme durability. So you just uh, uh, spray it on there. I always spray it on an applicator. Uh, you can actually spray it into the tire if you want. Wish. Uh, I actually do like this tire dressing from them. And so we'll just put this in here. And again, I believe that their products are blended by um, by B and B. So it's possible that it's very similar to the Adams Tire Shine, or even the Obsessed Garage one. All right, so that's pretty much it. Let me put that there. Uh, the next thing is you wanna level out your tire dressing. I'm gonna let the McKees one sit for 30, 30 minutes. The graphene tire dressing needs to sit for 15 minutes, as does graphene VRT. And so we're gonna just let these sit up for a few minutes and then I'll just come back and wipe them, um, wipe them dry. I'll let Pearl sit on there for a few minutes as well. So I don't want to let you guys wait here and kind of just watch um, watch these dry uh, because I need to let, let them sit for a few minutes. And on the other side, I'm going to do two layers. I won't. I'll show you that one, but I'll just do that off cam, and then I can um, we can do that 
uh, as well over there. I'll just want to show you an idea what one layer looks like, and then on the other side we'll do two layers. I won't show the application on that side, but the application is going to be very similar to this. Apply them, let them sit for a few minutes, wipe them down, and then uh, apply a second layer. Let that sit for another few minutes, and then just wipe them completely dry. And, but overall, I think these are going to look very similar after we level them down. So uh, let me do the other side, and I'll come back to you uh, in a few minutes. Okay, so these tire dressings have been sitting for a, uh, a while now, and I was trying to get this GoPro to work here, the old um, Hero 5, but I couldn't get that to work. So if I can get this to work again, um, I will go ahead and just bring you in closer. But I'm just going to go ahead and start leveling these guys out, and I'm going to see if I can actually just um, do it this way. So I'm going to just hopefully I can manage my... Uh, my control here okay so that's that side I'm gonna switch over to the Carpro Pearl side which is still pretty pretty wet okay okay mosquito get out of here so we're gonna flip it over here and then we're gonna go to the Next one here, which is the Obsessed Garage one. So by wiping it down, you're gonna level it out and make it look even, okay? And then this is the glass parency one. But it's also gonna knock down the gloss I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I don't like my tires to be overly glossy. Okay, flip it over here. I'm gonna level out the atoms. Graphene here. Okay. Then we're going to do the um, VRTs here. Again, these are all water-based, so don't expect extreme durability. Okay, and finally Q2 on the bottom. Q2 looks like the glossiest one thus far, just eyeballing it. Okay, so that takes care of that. I'm gonna flip it over so I can do the other side, which I got two layers going on here. So I'm gonna pull the tape lines off, and then I'll bring in with the other camera to kind of show you what if hopefully it shows up on camera um, the difference between these. I think it does. If not, I'll have to get the uh, the light just to show you what the darkening effect looks like. So I'll take these off for now and then I'll come back with that GoPro. I can still use it manually, I just can't, right now it's not connecting to my phone for a remote access. And then you can just hear it just went off. So I'll bring a light, I'll bring the scan grip or something and then we can look at the, um, the tires here. Um, Hopefully these didn't get bleed through. So let me just look at the light and then I will come back and I'll show you with that camera what these look like. Okay, so I've gone ahead and taken all the tape lines off. And now we're gonna brought another light. This is just the Harbor Freight light. And I'll show, we'll look at each section here and we'll see the, how it does with the tape lines. So keep in mind that uh, this light's gonna enhance the gloss of these. So just gonna keep that in mind. But the first one here, we see the um, on the keys 37 and so you can see that the 
between that and the and the let's see if I can get the light, I want to shine it right up close. But you can see the difference between the Adams version and the McKees version, so it's got a real nice look to it. Uh, again, we're looking at defects in the tire as well, so don't mind it. So like some of these issues here, those are all a part of the tire. There's nothing you can do about that. There's the Adams graphene, which looks really nice as well. Okay, then we get to the VRT. So this is where I'm talking about the VRTs look more matte and not as glossy as some of these other ones. So the graphene VRT looks pretty nice with just one layer. Um, here you can see the tape line between regular VRT and graphene VRT so you can see that they look very similar. So I don't know what the difference is overall in terms of durability. Okay, so now we're going to get down here to the, there's the tape line from the VRT to Gion Q2. Gion Q2 um, looks good too. That one looks, if I take the light off of it and just use the ambient lights, if I go back from here, it just looks like a real nice black tire dressing. It's starting to absorb in there and it looks like it's absorbing a little unevenly uh, just based on this section here. Uh, that's just part of the game here. Let me turn that back on. Let me go over to the feet here. This is the glass parenting one. You can see that the darkening effect on there is, is good as well. This one looks like it's absorbed pretty well. It's got a nice black look to it. There's the tape line for between that and the obsessed garage tire dressing. So they look very very similar in terms of look. Like I said I wouldn't be, be surprised if they use the same product for both of them just tweaked a bit. So that one actually the obsessed garage one looks really nice as well. And then we go to the tape line between Pearl and the Obsessed Garage and I mean they look f so close together but uh, one thing about Pearl sometimes it doesn't absorb very evenly. Uh, this time it looks like it, um, it did okay. You know, sometimes you kind of have to just apply a different one but I mean from a look perspective these look very similar uh, to each other just like the um, VRT products below. Again, that's the uh, the products at a closer look with the light on. Uh, I will I can pull this out, but again, we'll have to maintain the orientation. It's kind of difficult here. So uh, the orientation for this tire is with the Pontiac logo in the correct uh, orientation. So that's kind of like our center line here. And um, we'll just go from there. The other side's gonna be uh, upside down with the Pontiac arrows uh, pointing up instead of down. So. I hope this gives you an idea of what these tire dressings look like. We'll see how they hold up after um, the first wash. Uh, and we'll go from there. Alright, so I'm going to be on business travel for the first week of December. So I'm probably not going to be able to drive this car uh, that often. So these dressings will sit uh, on the car for a while. So again, we're just going to see first wash. See how they degrade. And... Um, We'll go from there. So it's going to be kind of different because the car's going to be sitting sitting for about a week. I'm only going to drive for like two days. You know, I'm going to go to the parking lot, park it there, uh, fly out, and come back Friday, and then drive back home. So it's not going to have many miles on that. But we'll see with the first wash, see how everything's degraded, and um, we'll see which one holds up the best. All right. So again, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next one. Okay, so here's the tire that has the two layers on it, and it's got the same orientation as the other side in terms of products on here. And actually, you can see from just the ambient lighting uh, from here, it looks uh, good even with two layers. So we'll go over on there again. So here's the McKees 37 tire dressing. So that's two layers of it. Here's the Adams which again that's two layers of it that's the Adams graphene tire dressing and that's the McKees 37 graphene tire dressing so then we got the VRT so you can see a second layer of VRT does help and enhance the look of it 
And same thing with the VRT down there. So you can see they look very similar uh, in their in their appearance. So I'm guessing that the only thing that you're going to get is uh, durability. So then here's Gion. Again, that one always looks a little splotchy, uh, but that looks good too for with two layers. And then we have the glass transparency. Um, let me back this out a little bit here. Um, the glass transparency one looks good as well. Doesn't look. This, yeah, so that looks good too with two layers. And then here's the access garage one. Um, which looks good too. And then we have the. You can see with two layers, it does look. Um, it still looks really good. Uh, not overly glossy or anything like that. And then we have the uh, copper pearl, which. Um, again, sometimes it absorbs splotchy, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, at least with two layers, it looks still looks um, pretty pretty black in terms of dark tire. So again, that's two layers. I just want to give you an idea what two layers looks like of these products. Uh, again, we have the um, the arrowhead on this wheel pointed this way here. So the missing lug nut is our top our top spot here. Um, I need to replace that lug nut. It's just it just broke at the very tip, so I can't grab enough threads to put the the lug nut back on there. That that broke some time ago. Um, but yeah, that's the look of two layers on there. I think that looks um, still looks good even with uh, two layers on here. Not overly glossy or anything like that. So uh, again, thanks for watching. I hope this kind of um, helps you in what two layers looks like versus one, and whether or not you should do one or two layers on your tire. Uh, we'll see how they hold up. Uh, during the wash process and we'll kind of see how they fade over time. We'll see which ones go first. I suspect like the um, Obsessed Garage one will probably go first. One of the first ones to go. Also um, Pearl would probably go first and then the VRTs because VRTs aren't uh, are, are not that durable. So we'll, we'll, we'll compare and see how these hold up over the next few weeks during the wash process. Alright, so again this is a different GoPro that I'm using on it but it should still look pretty good. Again this thing still shoots in 1080p. Um, again, thanks for watching.